the uh, you know their starters are a tough matchup. I think for anybody in this league, um, they were a tough matchup for us at the beginning of the two halves. Um, and um, you know our second unit came in and, and gave us what we needed: um, force, energy, um, attacking, unselfish play, and. Uh, you know, they they were they were the difference in the game as a whole. Um, down the stretch, Tyrese made more great plays. You know, the the assist late in the shot clock to Miles was really the the decisive play of the game. And um, you know, we just keep learning and trying to evolve. And so, uh, you know, a lot of good things out there. Uh, I guess keep going just on the second unit. I mean, I'll just, just go kind of player by player. TJ obviously seemed like he gave you guys a spot at 15 points, got to the rim a lot, got to the line a lot. Uh, what stood out about what he was able to do uh, just really on both ends? TJ McConnell is, you know, a once in a decade type player. He just, you know, you just don't find guys like that that just have that boundless energy, that have that indomitable spirit and that can lift the entire building you know with one defining loose ball play and he does it every night you know so um this has been this has been an adjustment for him he's you know his career he's averaged over 20 minutes consistently but you know he's playing he's playing behind Tyrese who's you know doing amazing things and so his minutes have been a little less but he gets everything he can out of those minutes and tonight he he was the leader of that group and then you know Matherin was Matherin was great his shot making was really amazing the difficulty of some of those shots um you know Chris has had a has had a has had a challenging um go here coming back because when you're out for six weeks, it just takes some time. And um, they tell me his ankle is, is, is not bad and he could have gone back in the game. He just landed on it funny. Um, and then, you know, Shea gave us great minutes. And, you know, Jalen, Jalen was terrific. I mean, I think he had four or five offensive rebounds in the first half. He's just playing with a lot of uh, force, posture, disposition. And, um uh, Got a lot of things done. So, hey, as I've continually said, it's any success we have is always going to be about the group, you know. Um, and tonight was good evidence of it. I mentioned Jalen and Miles, both those guys come through with double doubles. You guys win the rebounding battle pretty handily. Just, just how important were those guys finishing possessions, getting you guys some second chance points as well? How important was winning, was winning the rebound battle tonight? Well, when you play Toronto, it's a possession game. I mean, I watched them force 27 turnovers against Phoenix, you know, three nights ago, and or two nights ago, or three—I guess it was three nights ago—and <laughs> and you know, you got to value the ball from a ball security standpoint, and then you got to rebound it. I mean, you know, one of the, one of the things they do better than anybody is get the ball on the rim and go after it, and so. Uh, winning the rebounding battle was really key, and um, it just you know they just keep coming, they keep coming, they keep coming. They have athletes, you know, they all anticipate, they all have you know 50 inch arms. It seems like it's crazy, you know, it's crazy out there. But um, you got to outlast them, and that's what we did. Uh kind of in the outlasting theme and buddy i think it seemed like he, they blew up a lot of what he tried to do for most of the night and then he gets those two huge ones at the end just just how important was him to just kind of keep sticking to it just kind of keeping finding ways to get open get some shots and then hit two at the at the end yeah and you know those two threes were the result of aggressive paint attacks in crunch time which which is what you saw in the clipper game and what we needed again tonight and uh you know those two threes were huge. Um, we did generate some other pretty good shots that didn't go down, and then and then they're they're coming they're coming at you like you know like a gale wind, you know, and and it's uh, it's really difficult. But uh, you know you just got to hang in, and <laughs> you 
you know, keep keep making it difficult and keep running it back at them. And that's what we did. Is this a game where you feel like, too, you showed, you know, you're not dependent again on that three-point line. You only made 10. They outshot you in the first half. And you kind of, again, <laughs> set, set played your style of game, I should say. Well, to be consistently successful in the NBA, you've got to be able to win different ways. If you just have one formula, you know, teams are going to figure it out. <clears throat> and so, yeah, I mean, having some diversity, being able to, you know, stretch our second unit out, um, those guys being in a strong paint attack mode, um, you know, winning, winning without making 16 or 18 threes, you know, those are all good signs for us. Um, the other key was in the second half, they only had four threes, and in the first half, I think they had 10. And so that was something that had to change. So, you know, guys did a good job with, with game plan focus there. What do you think you guys did better on Siakam as the game went on? I think they had 15 in the first half. I think he was only two of five in the second. What got better there collectively? Because obviously it's a team effort there. Well, they don't count. They don't count them as shots taken when you when you foul them. So, you know, he had more than five shots. But um, look, I, you know, that guy is a beast. He's a monster. You know, he's a guy that can. At six, nine and a half, that can handle, that can make assists. He can finish at the rim. He can make mid-range. He's started out banging in threes. I mean, I don't know what the fuck you do with him. You know, I mean, he's just a difficult matchup. And the whole thing was to just try to keep throwing energy at him and try to wear him down, try to stay in front of him, make it tough. We went double-teamed him a few times. Um and Ron did some did some nice things to to change it up a little bit, because uh, if that team gets a rhythm, you know, getting in the paint, getting at the rim, and you know, they're they're impossible, you know. So, um, and it's you know stuff. It's the first time we've seen um, Van Vliet and Siakam. You know, Van Vliet didn't. Neither one of them played last game, and you know they were loaded up tonight, and they they were they were coming at us, and so uh, you know it's a good win. 4-0 on the homestand is not insignificant. Um, what, what do you like most about what you've seen from your group in the last couple of weeks? You know, we just got to keep looking forward. <clears throat> uh, you, know, w- you know, when you get into patting yourself on the back and feeling good about things that have already happened, you know, it's dangerous. Um, you know, it's, these are four difficult games. I mean, you got... You got Trey Young, then you got you know you got Mitchell and Garland and the and those monsters from Cleveland, and then <clears throat> you got you know two superstars with the Clippers, and they were fully healthy. And then you know this was going to be as hard or harder a game than any of them, simply because you know we've been winning, and um, when you're when you're winning, it's it's human nature to have a bit of a letdown. But uh, hey. It, 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 with us, it took 10 on the court and 17, you know, um, in the vicinity of the bench, you know, to get it done. And uh, and it's a it's a good win. Thanks. Thanks.